the Pope in Mussolini tells this implausible story of the relationship of an odd couple, two very different men, a dictator, a man who's a bully, an anti-cleric, a violent man, Benito Mussolini, and a man, Achille Ratti, who be becomes Pope Pius XI, who's a scholarly man, he'd spent his life as a librarian, uh, two men who seem to have nothing in common, yet find common cause and make an alliance. A story that now with the opening of the Vatican archives for this period can now be told. I argue in my book that, that Pius XI is responsible for Italian fascism, that Mussolini would never have been able to establish his dictatorship without the uh, support of the Pope. In 1924, a year and a half after Mussolini is initially uh, in power as prime minister, there's still not a dictatorship. The, there's a murder by the fascists of the leader of the socialists. The country turns against him. Mussolini himself is sure that his regime is about to fall. It's the Pope who comes to his aid, who prevents the formation of an alternative government, which would have involved an alliance of the socialists and the Catholics. And by opposing this, the Pope is basically able to save Mussolini, and Mussolini is able to declare his dictatorship. Most shocking, I think, is the discovery in the Vatican archives of documents offering a day-by-day -day account in August 1938, crucial period, uh, whereby Mussolini gets the church to agree to not allow any criticism of the anti-Semitic campaign. So the Mussolini knew the one way he could influence the Pope to do his biddings was to put pressure on Catholic Action, the lay organization of Catholics in Italy. And Mussolini put pressure on them and he then offered the Pope a deal in August of 1938. If you agree not to criticize the anti-Semitic campaign, I will agree to allow Catholic Action to act freely. The Pope got uh, many of his demands uh, were be, that were being made month after month to Mussolini were demands that he could not have made to a democratically elected leader. Uh, demands to shut down Protestant proselytizing, uh, demands to get women not to wear uh, revealing clothing, demands to not allow publications that criticize the church. These were all things that before fascism were impossible for the Vatican, but now became possible. The last months of the Pope's life, of Pius XI's life, were dramatic ones. He realized he'd made a terrible mistake in trying to deal with Hitler and especially in his backing for Mussolini and Mussolini's dictatorship. He was upset about the racial laws and he was upset about Hitler's visit in May of 1938 to Rome. So it, the people around him were worried he was going to denounce Mussolini and denounce Hitler and especially Eugenio Pacelli, his Secretary of State. These men did all they could, and we now discover this through the newly opened archives, to prevent the Pope from speaking out. Uh, 